In this video, I'm going to introduce binomial coefficients, and uh, I think there's a pretty good chance you might already be familiar with binomial coefficients, in which case I do not advise you to skip the, this video, but I do um, suggest that you go ahead and skip over where I talk about what a binomial coefficient is and how to compute it by hand, and look at how those can be computed with Wolfram Alpha. It's the last thing we'll do in the, um, in the video. But for now, I just want to talk about what a binomial coefficient is and how we go about computing its value by hand. Okay, and I'm going to start with an example. And this example is going to look like a fraction in parentheses, but it doesn't have the line that a fraction has. And this is called 4 choose 2. And that's because this means uh, the number of ways two objects can be chosen from four objects. And on your calculator this will probably be a combination in CR or something of that sort, NCK. And this is often a big focus in a probability and statistics course, and I have mixed feelings about that. In this course, we're not going to spend a lot of time looking at examples of binomial coefficients. Instead, they'll just show up when we have the binomial distribution. But because they do show up, we need to know what they are. So for an example, suppose I have four objects. And I'll denote these four objects by a star, a check mark, a square, and a circle. Okay. Now, four choose two is the number of ways I could choose two of these objects. And we're, order is not going to matter here. So to choose two objects, I could choose a, the star and the check mark. I could choose the star and the square. I could choose the star and the circle. Okay, that's all of the, my choices that include the star. Remember, order does, order does not matter. Or I could choose the check mark and the square, the check mark and the circle, or the square and the circle. And you can stare at this for a while and realize, you know, that's really all of the possibilities they are. So because there's four different ways to choose two objects from four, four choose two is six. Okay, and that's really the meaning behind the binomial coefficients. Now, to compute their values, you usually don't list out all the possibilities because that takes a long time and it can be hard to know when you're done. Instead, we have a general formula. n choose k, so this is n choose k, and I'm going to assume that the number on top is no bigger than the number on bottom, and I'll assume that both of these are non-negative integers, and let's assume that n is positive. Uh, it, these are defined for n equals zero, but they're not real meaningful, and they only come up in technical circumstances. Is equal to n factorial over k factorial times n minus k factorial. Okay. And remember that factorial means you just multiply a number by all of its... Um, by all the smaller integers until you get to 1 and then you stop. So for example, 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which happens to be 120. Okay. Alright, so we had 4 choose 2 up here. Let's check and make sure that that jives with our new fancy schmancy formula. So 4 choose 2 would be equal to 4 factorial over 2 factorial times 4 minus 2 factorial. So that is 4 times 3 times 2, and I'll just leave off the times 1 because we're not doing anything, over 2 times 1, and then 4 minus 2 is 2, so 2 factorial again, 2 times 1. And we cancel out the 4 with these two factors of 2, and we end up with indeed 6, which matches what we got when we just counted all of the combinations of objects. Okay, so that shows that this result does indeed match up with what we saw up here. And um, I'll look at one more example of computing this binomial coefficient by hand. And then we'll go on to using Wolfram Alpha, our computer algebra system. If I had 8 choose 3, that's 8 factorial 
divided by 3 factorial, and I'll go ahead and subtract and put 5 factorial here, because 8 minus 3 is 5. Okay, now if I expand this out, that's 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2, uh, divided by 3 times 2 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2, and nicely, the 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 cancels, and the 6 is the same as the 3 times 2. So this is just 8 times 7, 56. If I have 8 objects, there end up being 56. That's sort of a lot. 56 ways to choose 3 of those objects. This formula will show up um, in our analysis of the binomial distribution, so you do need to know that. As far as being able to simplify down these numerical examples, that's not going to be important in this course. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to compute binomial coefficients using our um, computer algebra system, Wolfram Alpha. So I'm going to open that up here. Okay, so I'm going to go to Wolfram Alpha here. And let's see, our first example was 4 choose 2. To calculate 4 choose 2 in Wolfram Alpha, I just do binome, that's sort for binomial coefficient, and in brackets, 4 comma 2 hit enter, and it tells me this is the binomial coefficient, and the result is 6. Okay, and it even gives me a nice graph of 6 on the number line. Okay. Alright, so that's a binomial coefficient of 4 and 2, also known as 4 choose 2. Similarly, if I wanted to check my work for 8 choose 3, I should get 56, and sure enough, I do. Okay, so Wolfram Alpha knows how to deal with these binomial coefficients, and that will come in handy. Now, one thing that's sort of interesting is, let's say I have 5 choose 0. So what does that mean? That means I have a group of 5 objects, and I want to know the number of ways in which I can choose 0 of those objects. Well, it's, it's possible to choose 0 of the objects, you just don't choose anything. If you were making a team, you just don't put anybody on your team. It seems sort of senseless, but it's possible nonetheless. So there is one way to do that, and a binomial coefficient of 5 choose 0 is 1. And that's sort of a definition, and it works out with a formula so long as you define this 0 factorial to be 1. Okay, okay that won't play a real important role, but thought I'd bring it up here while we have Wolfram Alpha up. And I will see you in the next video.